Thanks, Speaker. Uh, I'm rising tonight to pay tribute to John Eckister. John Eckister, uh, his daughter uh, told me on the weekend, passed away recently at the age of 86. John was uh, the member for Monero from uh, 1976 until 1988. He won four elections. He was there for nearly 12 years. He was a member of the RAND government and a minister in the RAND government. He was um, the last Labor member of the electorate before me. Uh, and he was a person who came from just a fascinating background uh, into politics. John uh, came from England, from Sussex, and uh, he was an orphan. His mum was 17 when uh, she had John, and she handed him over to his grandmother, who uh, then uh, handed him over to a, a local run workhouse uh, who later um, sent him on to an orphanage. Uh, at, he grew up in the orphanage, which he left at the age of 15, and he went off to do a job in Manchester as an electrical fitter. He went to national service and then he decided that he wanted to get away from wintry England and came to Australia, where he backpacked around before getting work in Cooma as an electrical draftsman on the Snowy Mountains hydroelectric scheme. Uh, from there, John became a really important member of the community. He joined the Labor Party. He was captain coach for a while of the uh, local Cooma rugby team, now known as the Red Devils, not sure if they were then. Uh, and he was uh, really one of the key people who um, won an electorate and uh, helped Neville Rand to get into power in 1976. He, uh, he won the electorate after the then member Steve Major died, a Liberal member for Monero, and uh, John won the electorate in what was a surprise to many people and then held it for four elections. He was a great local member. I remember well, and yes, I am old enough to remember, my father working with him when my dad was the member for Eden Monero, and uh, John was one of the stalwarts of the Labor Party who worked with dad, and uh, dad obviously supported him later on when he became the member for Monero. Uh, one of the characteristics of John was his incredibly broad accent, and a lot of people would, um, would talk about him, and uh, they would say that he was a great bloke, but they hadn't understood a word he was saying when he spoke to them. Uh, he had a really strong accent, but was really committed to our local area. He's been remembered by a building at um, the, uh, the Cooma Jail, uh, which has his name on it. And I also, last time I was a local member, uh, worked to try and get the government office building in Queanbeyan named after him. It eventually acknowledges him, but didn't quite get named after him. Then, unfortunately, the uh, coalition came in and sold the building off, uh, as they tended to do. But he is certainly somebody who is well worth remembering for his contribution to the Monero electorate. 12 years as the local member. He's a person who had an incredible history. He didn't meet his mother until, she, until he was actually elected to parliament and met her for the first time just before he was sworn in. Uh, she came out and saw that. Uh, he had a tough upbringing, but I suppose um, some people in those days would have said that it made him a tough person. He... Um, has two daughters, uh, two, two children. Uh, Vanessa was the person who let me know uh, the other day about his passing. I understood that, understand that he'd suffered from dementia for some time, um, had been living in Sydney last time I spoke to him, but is certainly remembered by many of the older, older people, older residents of Cooma as a really prominent member for the area, but local resident, for his contribution to the Snowy Scheme and to our communities. Uh, I. Um, Obviously, twice today, this evening, I've stood up to talk about deceased former members for our local area, which is a bit sad, but uh, I think it's really important to acknowledge there's probably not many people in the parliament here who remember when John Ackister was the member, but uh, his election to Monero was one of the harbingers of um, the uh, ran slides that came later on. He was a very successful member uh, in the period he was there, a minister for corrective services. He went out again when uh, uh, the... 1988 election uh, at which he talked about the changes to forestry and gun controls which uh, were attempted to be introduced at the time. Um, he then went on to work in private business and also my understanding was um, renovated a few houses as well as he went forward. But uh, my thoughts with uh, John's family, uh, children and uh, uh, rest in peace, John Ackister.